Hi everyone, so I'm back to share another journal with you. This journal, um, Labour of Love, let me tell you, <laughs> it's taking me a while to get this finished. Um, it's a Amazon package and cover with a fabric on the top. It is um, butterfly themed. I've used a lot of Artie Maisie's um, freebie butterflies and uh, Artie Maisie's tickets. I've used... Um, pages from Artie Mays. Uh, I think it was the Vintage Days, just the background pages, but I will mention it all as I go through. And if there's, I've used some Tracy Fox as well and anyone else, I will mention that as I go through. So let me get my notes for this. Uh, this will be listed in my shop if you are interested. So it measures eight and a quarter by five, has one and a three quarter inch spine, three signatures, 100 pages front and back there is um the three signatures the back signature and the front signature are f embellished the middle one is just right well not writing pa paper but coffee dyed paper for you to write in or decorate as you please um the cover was believe it or not a dark brown fabric and i just sold it all I then went in with my coffee sprays and I think I used a bit of blue. I used a little bit of, I've got a new acrylic paint, which I will show you the colour. It is Blackberry and obviously I've put it in my little spray bottle like that. And I just sprayed that around as well. So that's my new colour. It's really pretty. Um, I'll just set that to one side because I can't reach where it came from now. So the fabric has all been sewn on. Um, I've made a little topper here, which is made from the back of that is a couple of layers of book page, trying to use all them up. So if you've got lots of book page, use them for the backs of things or in between things. If you know, especially if you don't particularly like the designs on them or the writing's inappropriate or something like that. Artie Maisie's ticket. This is from Artie Maisie's Rose Journal cards. These are the freebie butterflies from Artie Maze. That is a freebie word from Artie Maze. With the butterflies, there is a few in here that what I did was I backed them onto cardstock. I used my uh, gel matte medium to glue them down. Then I put some over the top. Then I sprinkled my glamour dust. I don't know. There is. It's really fine glittery stuff. It's you know it gets everywhere but it's so fine it's like you know you can hardly feel it so that's on there and it's on a lot of the other butterflies in there then once that was dry i went over it with the gel gloss brilliant gloss that just gives it a little bit of a nice shine so i'm not sure if you can see that or not so eyelets organza ribbon as a closure we have some crocheted trim on the edges and as you can see weighs a ton um i know you can't see that it weighs a ton but <laughs> it does weigh a ton it is quite thick so let me make sure i am in frame here and we will do a flip through so on the inside is just book pages it's been um distress inked and then i've used the matte medium to go over the top of it to seal that in and it kind of moves the the ink around as well which gives a nice kind of vintagey look these the pages that i've used for the outside of each signature is from the vintage days kit from Artie Mace. so i've obviously used the blue the greeny color and this lovely red so let's go inside right that's another thing i have been making all lots of book page pockets and i'm gonna do a video on that soon i know everybody else has done them they're not a new thing um but i'm just gonna do it maybe on a live or something like that the reason i haven't done a live is my back's been really sore and i just can't stand or sit for too long so i just don't have the ability to do that right now um so this one here i mean these uh generally they have been inspired by patricia veramontes who has been is the queen of book page pockets in my opinion <laughs> so this is a one two three four book page pocket and this is from tag fabrication that is from uh Artie Mays and tracy fox this is from Tracy Fox. That is her uh, field notes layered tags. These are Artie Mays. This is her construction cards. That goes in there. And these are Artie Mays. And it's the um, positive quartz tag set. 
Then down here, I've just got some music paper, little scrap pieces, the word determined, little ticket from Artie Mays, little butterfly there, which is all been glittered up like I showed you in the first one, and some cheesecloth. <clears throat> There's some crazy wacky coffee dyeing in here as well. Then we have a envelope that I've made, and I think I've squished that a little bit. There we go. There we go. And on the back, we've got our Artie Mays label, which is a freebie. These butterflies, they're a freebie. You can find them on Artie Mays and Friends. So this has been made using some book pages, and then I put the William Morris paper on the top. Made this little um, stopper, because it's not a topper. It's a, a little stopper from stopping that from flipping open. Um, so that goes in there. some more wacky coffee dyed paper just need to take a little drink um made some tags these have been made with the william morris paper artie Maze's tickets artie Maze's butterflies these are a freebie they're a freebie they're not and neither is the william morris it's been backed onto coffee dyed paper got a little tab on there um keep getting asked about that tab it is a stamping up retired tab punch that you can really only find um, like buying it second hand on eBay or Marketplace or somewhere like that, or if someone's doing a D stash. Uh, this is some freebie paper from the old design shop. <clears throat> and so is that. Here, another book page pocket. I've got a tag in there from Tracy Fox. This uh, is actually opened at the back as well. These are two pages stuck together, so they're not really thin, they're nice and thick. And that goes in there, but you can tuck something in there as well. And then again, we've used um, Artie Maisie's tickets, the butterflies all glittered up, some cheesecloth. This is just a little booklet I made with the William Morris. Just used one of, I think that is a freebie from Artie Mays. Just made a little kind of topper stopper there. And we've got this little booklet, which I've just sewn in with some uh, wax linen thread. And that just goes like that. That's the back of that. Paper clipped on. Uh, made a big jumble tag there, using up them book pages. Um, I'm using the ones with like the creepy crawly bugs on them because I don't like them. I like the butterflies and the dragonflies and the bees, but I don't like the creepy crawly ones. Um, anyway, stitched all around. This background paper is from um, Artie Maisie's Ephemera set two or three, can't remember. Um, tickets again. These are a freebie from Artie Mays. So is the butterfly. And then we've got a tab on there. So, where did that go? There? Was that there that I went? Oh no, maybe there. Well, that's where I'm putting it. <clears throat> okay, centre of that signature. Oh, wacky paper. I love how that comes out. That's just in the um, coffee water in the spray bottle. Just hold it at a good distance away and spray it around and you get all these lovely little markings. So, here we have another tag. William Morris background, coffee dyed on the back. Artie Maisie's tickets. This is um, a freebie. That's a freebie as well. Tickets aren't. I do love that William Morris. It kind of goes with a lot of things. It'll fit there. Crazy coffee dyeing. Um, I've been using my hands and everything to do the coffee dyeing, like spraying it on and patting my hands on it, moving it around, and it's getting some really nice markings. Crazy lady, aren't I? Um, book page envelope pockets you can tuck something in there done a little bit of decoration here with some scrap pieces and a freebie made this little topper there with the butterfly which all glittered up inside there we have a tag from tracy fox a tag from tag fabrication that's artie Mays and tracy fox this is artie Mays, and i think the light's flickering Give that little tap <laughs> if it don't work kick it um little journal card there okay some crocheted trim another envelope I made four of these all together um label that's a freebie butterflies a freebie and that's just my stopper there 
and it's nice and thick because I use the book page and then the digital over the top. Uh, book page pocket here. This is a freebie, so as a butterfly, a little bit of uh, music paper there. Inside that pocket we have tag fabrication tag. We have a construction card and then I just put this little piece on there. That's from the tag fabrication kits. Um, so that goes on there, that went on there. Another two tags from Artie Mays, and you can journal on that one. They're the positive tags and journal cards. Right, the centre signature, as I said, it's just coffee dyed pages for you to journal in. And the third signature. Again, we've got another one of these four pocket book page thingies. And yeah, one, two, three, four. And we have a tag fabrication. And obviously you can put something in there, but I've only started from here because this was getting out of control with the thickness of it. This is Tracy Fox um, layered field knots tag. This is Artie Maze. And again, I put one of these little things on there. You can, with the construction cards, you get, with most of them, you get, well, all of them actually, you get two sizes to layer them up. But I just kept them um, singular. Artie maze and then another little kind of cluster here little ticket butterfly scrap pieces and it says stay positive crocheted trim another envelope i want ticket and work because you know what they do does that <laughs> the butterflies here are from tracy fox and that one is Artie maze and so is that Artie maze and coffee dyed paper Another one of these tags. Uh, William Morris, Artie Mays tickets, freebie butterfly, and that's a freebie sentiment there. I think that's the spring quotes, I think. Um, the old design shop. The old design shop. Another book page pocket with a field notes layered tag from Tracy Fox. It's opened at the back. And again, this one is double layered, double layers of pages. So that it's nice and sturdy and the tickets the butterfly the cheesecloth and there's a little book page behind there as well that you can hardly see now um another big jumbo tag freebie tickets some vintage music paper butterfly and this is from ephemera pack two or three can't remember uh it's got a couple of pages of like collage in and then some vintage ephemera that's original i think well original but scanned in from Artie Mays. another little booklet some nice markings on that because i just with my fingers <laughs> uh you've got little pages there you can write on that you can do whatever you like to it and that's the back and that's the little butterfly stopper and that goes there and little envelope pockets you can put something in there it's all been stitched little cluster here that's a freebie a little topper there with a butterfly and cheesecloth inside there we have a tag from tracy fox look at the marking on that lovely lovely this is tag fabrication that's andrea and tracy and that is andrea little flip there you can make that into a pocket crocheted trim another envelope i've got two envelopes with that pattern but obviously the butterflies are different on them that's Artie Maisie's freebie labels freebie butterfly and that's all been glittered up on my little embellishment thing and that goes on there the last pocket is a corner book page pocket, freebie number card there, cheesecloth, some vintage music paper, butterfly. This is from Tag Fabrication. The pattern of that is kind of showing through there and it kind of looks slightly stenciled, come out really nice. Um, Andrea's construction card, put little um, embellishment there which has got mushrooms on it and that's the positive quotes and so is that and that is the back so there we have it another chunky journal um, this was fun to make and I love that cover I love all the 
the sprays on it and the coffee markings. So there, and it feels really nice. That if you haven't tried the Amazon packaging, you really should um, to you know make your covers. Comes out amazing. And I was inspired to do this from um, Barbara from Forty Nine Dragonflies. So there we go. Like I said, this will be listed in my shop. I've mentioned everybody I've used. If you have any questions, just ask. And thanks for watching. Bye.